Vice-Chancellor, Tony Scullion is a computing science teacher and founder of the multi-award winning charity Dress Code. Her interest in computing began at an early age with her first computer, editing web pages and seeing the impact a few lines of code made to what ended up on the screen. This level of curiosity continued through high school, university at Napier with a BSc in computer science, and then on to Strathclyde for her postgraduate diploma in secondary education and teaching. Then, an MSc in educational leadership at Stirling. One thing Tony noticed during her time in school and university was that she was one of only a very small number of women in her class. Computer science has a long running issue with gender imbalance, with men outnumbering women across all areas of the subject in industry and academia. More worryingly, there is a fall in the number of women entering the subject across Scotland. In the last 20 years, the number of pupils studying computer science has fallen dramatically. In 2001, around 30,000 pupils were studying the subject. As of 2020, there are only around 10,000. And only about 10% of these students are female. This is despite the high and growing demand for skills in these areas. Tony set up Dress Code to start to readdress this imbalance. It strives to motivate and inspire the next generation into careers in computing science with the core goal of closing the gender gap. Dress Code are building a network of clubs and schools across Scotland, enabling young girls to see the opportunities in computing and tech. Ultimately, these clubs provide a space for aspiring female computer scientists to develop with support tailored for them. In addition to founding Dress Code, Tony has led several initiatives aimed at raising awareness of these issues to enable schools, universities, and industry to combine their efforts to address them. She is the co-founder of Ada.Scott, named after, of course, the first programmer, Ada Lovelace, a festival specifically to promote opportunities to young female computer scientists. Through CSS Scotland, a national initiative with the aim to help support computing science teachers and inspire as many pupils as possible to continue to study computer science. She has led the development of the Digital Technology Education Charter, a charter that has signatories across the academic and industry tech sector in Scotland. The charter aims specifically to bring together industry, academia and schools to encourage the next generation to choose computer science. Tony has already received numerous recognitions and awards for her work. Three Women in Tech Excellence Awards, four Scottish Women in Tech Teacher of the Year Awards, and two Scottish Cyber Security Awards. She has had three motions in the Scottish Parliament recognising her work. Last year, she received a Point of Light Award for making a difference in the community, and was celebrated by EdTech and Open UK as a top influencer in the UK tech industry. But she was still surprised by her nomination for an honorary award. Computer science desperately needs female role models to inspire the current and next generations. Tony's determination to bring industry, schools and academia together to bridge the growing gender gap in computing shows not only her passion for the subject, but also her desire to improve the opportunities of young women in Scotland. Dress Code's motto is, if you can code, you can change the world. Tony embodies this motto. She can certainly code. Remember editing that first web page? And she has already changed the world for many young women. Vice Chancellor, by the authority of the Academic Council, I present for the award of Doctor of Education, Honoris Causa, Tony Scullion.
Hi, everyone. Vice Chancellor, distinguished guests, fellow graduates, and everyone here today to celebrate this special occasion. It is a true privilege to share this day with you and be presented with this incredible award. So the reason I started Dress Code was because in my first couple of years being a computer and science teacher, I ran a coding club and it was hugely popular, but there were only three girls and they only turned up one time. So I asked those kids and I found those girls and a little piece of advice, if you ever want a brutally honest answer for anything, ask a kid. The girls said that it was annoying, they didn't like the club, it was too loud, but boys in particular were annoying. <laughs> um, but thankfully they did say that they would come back, but they gave me two conditions. One, that they, I brought them chocolate. And two, that it was an all girls coding club. And that was when Dress Code was born. Now, when I was at university studying my undergraduate degree in computing science, I, like many others before me, was only one of the, the females in the class. And at the time, I didn't really think it was a problem. I didn't really think too much about it. But then when these 12-year-old girls didn't want to come to a coding club, I started to look into the problem of the gender gap in computing science. And I found that it's a global problem. And it still is. I then started to look at how we do as a country at secondary school in Scotland, not just computing science, but all STEM subjects. And I was genuinely shocked to find out that computing science in Scottish secondary schools has got the largest gender gap compared to any of the other traditional STEM subjects. And it still does today by a huge margin. And I felt absolutely compelled that I had to do something. So Dress Code just began as a coding club in the one school that I was working at to try and inspire more girls into computing science. But since it has grown and we do so much more and we've managed to gain sponsorship from JP Morgan, which is just incredible. We work to inspire and help close the gender gap ultimately in computing science, but we also work to encourage and champion and support the teachers delivering the subject at secondary school. But we also advocate for every secondary school to offer computing science and every, second, every pupil in Scotland to have the opportunity to study the subject if they wish, so they can decide themselves whether it's something that they enjoy, because right now that's something that isn't happening in Scotland. We also try to bridge the gap between industry and education. We want to raise awareness of all the incredible opportunities there are in the Scottish tech sector, and there are so many. So it's so exciting for me to be in a room with all these incredible, talented individuals who may go into that sector. But that might not be for you, and that's okay. There are so many other amazing careers out there as well, so I thought I'd share with you one of my favourites. So how about a job that challenges you in a good way, where you're constantly learning and it changes every single day, every hour in fact, one hour, you could be coding a game, making a website, flying a drone, making an app, designing a web, um, making a web page come to life. You could be coding a robot. But then also it's a job where you will laugh and you will certainly cry. It's a job where you will make a true difference to the world and inspire and shape the future generation. It's a computing science teacher. So if you're sitting here today and you have no idea what to do next, I encourage you to have a think about teaching. It is honestly one of the best jobs in the world and there's no other job like it. But whatever you decide to do, do something that you love. And don't ever think that there's a problem too big that you cannot solve and that you cannot individually have a difference because you can't. Now Steve Jobs once said, we're here to put a dent in the universe. So make yours a good one. Congratulations, everybody, and thank you very much.